We became friends first. We fell in love and got married. And now we're starting a family together. Hey guys, so this is the last episode of Jeff and Jordan. Which is us two. Yes. Not Whoa. forever, not forever. We'll be back, but I think we're gonna take maybe a week or two off because the baby is coming the end of the week. Yes, very, very soon. And it's gonna be three of us. I don't know if you can see, but he's... He, Get a good look because next episode, you're not gonna be able to see this. He's cooked and he's ready to go. <laughs> and I'm ready for him to go. <laughs> yeah, so we're just, I mean, all hands on deck, whatever right. analogy you wanna give. I shampooed the carpets. We got we ordered a big uh, Lazy Boy today. Just so you guys know, we look at all the messages you guys write. Everything. This isn't our furniture. We just do this for the Jeff and Jordan thing because we had to move some stuff out to make room for the baby. So relax. But we I have, like, I do like the chairs. <laughs> she just likes them. We just got them out of the trunk again to film this stuff. But anyways. While Jeff was shampooing the carpets, I was like, I need to do something. So, I mean, I felt like a man because I put together the stroller and I put together our high chair. And I did it, and I had like the toolbox and screwing things in. I did, I felt like I accomplished something. You were actually excited for I it. I was excited, but don't Me, make them see like I'm making you put together stuff. I put you, together the big stuff. This more, was like one, two, three, snap it, in. It, it, you, Listen, she I don't want to make you feel bad, one. but I want people yelling at me that I'm like, it's all hot in there. You have lawn <laughs> furniture in your living room. You don't let your help your wife out. Rah, rah, rah. We don't live above our means, as you can tell. <laughs> Just because, so we... Uh, Listen, we're regular people. What do you guys do at home? I mean, jeez. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, we can do more because we don't go above our means. We don't go spend money on a bunch of crazy things. We're now you're calling me a tight ass. We, if I don't get it from you guys, tight. I get it at home. I can't win. Well, we, Welcome to uh, fatherhood. That's why we sit in beach chairs and stuff. <laughs> Moving on, even though everyone wants to bash me, it seems like I did do something nice for you this week. So nice. Um, okay, so you know how, of course, I like to eat, obviously. And is this what you were talk, referring to? No, not at all, but go with what you were thinking. <laughs> okay, I thought it was really sweet. So Jeff left to the gym, went to go get his hair cut, and he went out of his way because he knows how much I love Chick-fil-A and being pregnant, I want Chick-fil-A even more. And he doesn't know anything about Chick-fil-A. And he went all the way to Chick-fil-A and um, parked, they don't even have a drive through at the one he goes to, and got me a Coke. I love their Coke, y'all. It's like crack. It's so good. It's so addictive. And he got me a number one combo, the Chick-fil-A sandwich with fries, and he knew to get me Polynesian sauce. Like, that is sweet good right husband. there. I also threw you a surprise baby shower, too, but apparently <laughs> Chick-fil-A is at the top of the list. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> All right. It was... Uh, no, no more I, no more parties, just Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I called my mom and go, it was the sweetest thing ever. I go, he, uh, the same thing like with my birthday. So I'm always like, you don't have to get me anything, just get me a card and I'm happy. I love cards. And that was kind of like the same thing. It was just the thought and the gesture that he drove all that way, out of his way to do that for me. But speaking of the shower, I know I'm so fat. Um, the speaking <laughs> of the shower, that, oh my goodness. So, okay, let's start from the beginning, okay? Jeff, okay, Jeff had been fishing all day with his buddy and I um, I want him to go out and do things because this is his last week and fishing is what he loves. I love it. And so. Like Jordan likes Chick-fil-A, fishing's, fishing's up there for Fishing's his me. thing. So, um, I'm at home and I've been getting really bad acid reflex. And so, when he got home, I'm in the bed because my stomach's hurting, you know, you know how that goes. So Jeff is like, will you drop me off at Scotty's house? I go, sure, no problem. Well, I always wear these McDonald's sweatpants. They're purple, um, you know, they're almost too tight now because at my point of pregnancy, but I just love them. I wear them all the time and I don't care. I'll go to the grocery store in them. And they say Mick Cafe. <laughs> and Jeff, I'm changing into my sweatpants. And he goes, you know, you could wear something else besides sweatpants. So he knows we're having a baby. I'm going to a baby shower. And he's trying to steer me to put on something nice 
because he knows everybody's there. Well, that didn't settle with me well, him telling me not to wear my McDonald's sweatpants because I was like, you don't tell me what to wear when I've been carrying this baby for nine months and I'm about to have this baby in a couple of days. Don't you tell me not to wear my sweatpants. And like, I'm so mad. He goes, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I said that wrong. And I go, you know what? I'm dropping you off at Scotty's house. I'm not even going. And um, so he's like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So I just start making up stories of like, listen, our other friends going with his girlfriend. By the way, I can't take credit all of this before we get to it. A lot of people, all my friends helped out with this baby shower. Louie included, a bunch of my Freddy, a bunch of my buddies, a bunch of my buddies' girlfriends, they all had a hand in it. So thank you to everybody who helped me put that together or actually did put that together. But anyways, I had to lie to her and say, listen, our friend so-and-so is gonna be there. You have to come in and say hi. It just doesn't look right if you don't come in. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm not going yeah, in. Yeah, she was really not happy with me. Not happy with me at all. So we get to Scotty's house. And I'm on the phone with my girlfriend, Jennifer, and- um, You love just throwing everybody's name out there, huh? No, she's like my best friend. So we're talking and I'm telling her, I'm like, can you believe he told me to change my sweatpants? And Jennifer's like, oh gosh, that wouldn't settle with me either. And you know, we're both like gossiping about it. And um, so Jeff, we get there, he's like waiting on me to get out of the car with him. And I'm like, I'm finishing my conversation with her. I will meet you inside. Cause again, I'm thinking, normally when I go to Scotty's, I'm bumming over there. So Jeff goes up. Well, I go up to the door, <laughs> which I think you're gonna see right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. I go up to the door, everybody yells surprise but Jordan's in the car and I don't want her to hear that everyone yelled surprise. So the whole crew's there, they yell surprise. I'm like, shh, be quiet, don't waste it. So for some reason they threw me out and they're like, go get Jordan. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, this plan isn't working. Then I'm sitting on the steps. I can hear everything um, they're saying, by the way. They're like, he's just sitting out there. Somebody should get him. And I'm just sitting on the steps. I'm like, is everybody, what's going on here? So then they let me back in. She's in the car. Oh! Then I'm like, well, who is Jennifer's phone number? So Louie had Jennifer's phone number. I start texting Jennifer. I'm like, listen, it's Jeff. This isn't a joke. We're inside right now. You have to get off the phone with Jordan. So she comes inside. Everybody's waiting around the foyer. Did you like that word? Yeah. Nice. And so everyone's waiting around there. Finally, Jennifer gets off the phone. Jordan comes in. And okay, so I am already, like I said, in a bad mood. And I go to open Scotty's door and it's locked. And I'm like, he <laughs> knows I'm coming over here. Why did they lock the door? So Scotty goes, who is it? Or he said, is this Jordan? He said something. I can't remember exactly what he said. Who is it? My mouth dropped. Okay, one, I underneath my teal shirt was wearing a nursing bra. Two, I'm wearing, yeah, I didn't even brush my hair. Um, my makeup, I did, I did touch up my makeup a little bit. Thank God I did. And then three, I had on not my McDonald's sweatpants, but I changed it to my favorite green sweatpants. So I really didn't look, I was like so embarrassed at first. And I'm like, oh my God, I felt like my boobs were everywhere. So I put my sweater on. And, uh, but besides all that, it was amazing time. They all, oh my gosh, I, I wasn't expecting it because it's a week away from the due date. I had no idea that they were gonna be throwing me a shower. And um, yeah, it was just, I felt so loved and felt so special that day. And it was so nice to see so many people who I probably thought, cause it's during the week, uh, that thought that couldn't make it because of work. And you know, for them to take time out of their night to come celebrate with me on a weekday. I mean, that's, that's 
that makes you feel good, it you know? It was nice. And it was just like, it was a really, really small group of us, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we, sorry if someone felt excluded. It was like such a small group, but love nonetheless. Yeah, and um, you know, we got, just as when I think I get all uh, the baby clothes washed, I get another thing of uh, baby clothes. And um, it just, yeah, it was it was really nice. And I just, now I gotta wash all those. We got some cute gifts, some funny gifts. Um, some I probably can't repeat, like gag gifts that are funny. <laughs> yeah, so I, it, you know, it just, it shows. We have a really good group of friends out here. Um, that are just awesome people and I can't say thank you enough. So this has been a big week for me. I went out with my chain girls, that's what I call them, Reba and Mandy. Um, we always go to chain restaurants because um, I love my chain restaurants. I had a, ba a surprise baby shower and then I went out with two girls I used to work with from work and that was nice. A lot of love this week. A lot of love this week. And yeah. then a lot more love coming. A lot more love baby. coming. So we want to thank everybody who again put together a baby shower. All the friends that support us here, Chicago, Charlotte, we love you guys. Our families obviously. We love you guys for watching every week and if I hope anyone doesn't feel excluded because there's plenty of time to come hang with us. We're gonna need some babysitters. Exactly, and I also wanted to say too, I've posted a couple videos on my Instagram about the baby moving. And I have read, I even wrote on one of them, I've uh, read every single comment. And I thank you everyone for helping me with um, advice on how you turn a breech baby. Um, people who are like, I'm praying for you for a safe delivery. Just everybody's so positive. And I really do mean this from the bottom of my heart. I've read everything and I thank you so much for all the support, all the love, all the positivity. I mean, there's never not one negative comment, and I thank y'all. And it does, it keeps us going, and it makes us feel good inside and loved and know that we're gonna do a great job with right. this baby. So guys, that's it for us too. Next time you see us, we'll officially be parents. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, yeah. Keep it together. So we're not, we're definitely gonna take a week off. We're gonna try to get in whatever we can, filming-wise, with the baby. That's not really my first priority to see who if I could film this whole crazy thing. But I'm gonna try to get some in. We're gonna give you guys some shots, whatever we can. And we'll be back very soon with our baby as a family and you guys will finally know the name. Yes. All right guys, thank you so much for all the support. Don't forget about us because we're gonna need a lot more once this baby comes. Thank you guys, have a great night. All right guys, see you soon.
pictures. Thank you, Scotty. Yeah. So wow, again, look at that. It's a little beanie. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. I want to all cry. I'm out here. Thank you, everyone. Oh, well, we love you.